You know, they tried to tell us about Trevor Lawrence. Like way back. We just didn't listen. It started with the people of East Tennessee who saw him play as a little kid. Then it was the residents of Cartersville, Georgia. The ones who flooded the internet for Lawrence's high school insanity. Lawrence. What a throw, what a catch here in stride. A pocket passer, and then all of a sudden when things break down, guys, that's when it gets exciting because this is one of those players that looks like he's just gonna throw it from within the pocket, and then he creates and extends, and that's what makes him so dangerous, and it's why they are a two-time defending state champ here at Cartersville. Lawrence flushed again, Amel nearly out of the Navy commit, down the field, touchdown, Cartersville. It's another brilliant throw by Lawrence. Then, last fall, when we were all obsessing over Kyler Murray and Tula versus Jalen and Dwayne Haskins and Gardner Minshew and Will Greer and, well, pretty much every other quarterback in the country. Check out this quarterback, Justin Herbert. I think he is one of the best quarterbacks in the country nobody talks about. The good people down in upstate South Carolina were trying to tell us that their guy was better, that the kid with the flowing blonde locks was the best quarterback Clemson has ever had. Tigers. Even better than Deshaun Watson. What he's demonstrated through the first four games, I don't have any doubt he'll leave here as, you know, one of the best we've ever had come through. But we were having none of it, were we? Number one in the country, Alabama! <laughs> Why? Because again, we get back to Nick Saban. Many believe it's just a fait accompli that Alabama is going to win and there's no one else. I, I happen to believe that Ohio State is close. I don't think Clemson is. Everyone's going to pick Alabama because Vegas is going to pick Alabama. All the way up until the point where Lawrence made his point on the biggest stage college football has to offer. Lawrence with the rush coming finds T. Higgins. Touchdown. That kid cannot be 19 years old. <laughs> Come on. I mean, he looks like a 10 year NFL veteran. I mean, he looks like he's been there his whole life. Yeah, they tried to tell us. And yeah, we owe them and Trevor Lawrence an apology. We absolutely did not pay enough attention to him when so many people tried to tell us that we should. Touchdown, 13 yards for Lawrence's fourth touchdown pass of the night. But they certainly don't have to tell us that anymore. Lawrence flips it open. Justin Ross, off and running, and Clemson strengthens its grip on this championship game. He's playing two more years of college football. Can you imagine what he'll look like in two years? 